hey guys and welcome back to the channel um i hope you guys are having a great day so far and happy new year i know we are literally like uh 11 days today is 11th i think but <laughs> 11 days into the new year but i want to say happy new year and i wish you an amazing and amazing new year full of love prosperity Double up on your blessing, 2022, we've doubled up on everything. So double up on your love, double up on your money, double up on everything, you know? We got this. So honestly, I hope you have an amazing new year. I'm so sorry for the way I look. But as you can see from the title, I'm going to let you guys follow me along to my natural hair appointment. Um, if some of you don't know, um, I'm going to be more transparent on the channel, but... Um, Last year, I really neglected my natural hair. Um, just because I was stressed, had a lot of things going on. And I have beautiful hair. I think Afro hair is such a beautiful texture. And once it's like thriving, it's so, so beautiful. But I really neglected it last year. And um, I actually had some breakage at my crown. I'm going to insert some videos and pictures here. Um, yeah and it, I, my hair health went really really down it's so crazy how like you can be stressed and your hair can be affected so I honestly sit guys look after yourself every type of way like this is really my self-care like right now these appointments my natural hair comes first like i honestly take it as a high priority the same way i wear wigs and i lay down my my yeah my wigs make them look cute i'm also looking after my hair because i love my hair so um but yeah so last year was a lot and i found this amazing amazing hair stylist um she's called the natural hair whisperer she's amazing you're gonna when i come i when, thought it'd be really nice it'd be educational because i know a lot of people need to find really good black hair stylists so i would also want to put you guys on so if you are looking for someone to look help you look after natural hair give you some education and you know because our hair is so beautiful and i want it to flourish but yeah as you can see um uh it, my hair was really, really damaged um i think a lot of it is because i was if you know me i'm known for the ponytail um but last year normally when i do my ponytails it's not as tight but i think last year i got a lot of tight ponytails which contributed to like a lot of um thinning on this on this this part of the crown of my head so when you do get ponytails make sure it's loose um i'm definitely gonna do more ponytails because i'm known for the ponytail but there's definitely a technique you should do it and also the length of how long you're wearing them for as well but yeah that's pretty much it i can't wait for you guys to come along honestly it's gonna be amazing literally i can look so forward to these appointments um i've only had one so far so this is my second appointment but i love the first one i already booked for next month um because i really want to take care of my hair like i said it's a very big priority and it's definitely should be a priority it's my self-care you know everyone's on youtube about their whole self-care routine this is part of my self-care routine uh i would not miss it for the world but yeah um so come along if you have any questions i put all the information down below like um how to book her and location all that good stuff down below but also write down any questions that you have or things that you've been suffering with whether it doesn't be with your hair it could be with anything else but um yeah i can't wait for you guys to come bye guys <laughs> I'm a bit early for my appointment so I always want to make sure that I'm on time but um, I'm just in Sainsbury's going to pick up some bits of money. Well, just stops for the money but I'm always just like you know look through Sainsbury's it's always weird vlogging in public because you don't know how uh, people are going to be looking at you like this girl crazy but yeah I'll probably put like, some music over and some montage it's literally gold now in that place. The sun is really stunning. But yeah. People are really looking at me. But it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, I'm just off the right point right now. Sorry if I look crazy, guys. Honestly. Sorry. 
So guys, I just arrived at my appointment. I should just have a little catch up, seeing how I am. She's so lovely. Um, so first she normally assesses my hair. Um, she said my hair was in good condition from last time. We're just detangling my cane rose that she put in from our last appointment. She's then gonna pre-poo and then she's gonna wash my hair. Um, but I just fast forward this bit just so you, it doesn't take so long. But yeah, you can, you can come and she'll assess your hair before the appointment. But yeah, so just enjoy the little wash montage. This brother here, myself, all of us were born with our hair like this and we just wear it like this because it's natural, because uh, the reason for it, you might say, is like a new awareness among black people that their own natural appearance, physical appearance is beautiful. It's Naturally beautiful. And her beautiful natural hair is her crowning glory. So she just gave me a thorough wash and it was amazing guys. You know when someone washes your hair, it's like the best feeling ever. She then put me under the steamer, put some conditioner in my hair, left me for a good 15 minutes. I would say you can bring your laptop if you've got work to do, definitely you got you got time to do it. And um, back to washing my hair. Isn't it beautiful? Um, so guys, so after she washed out the conditioner, she detangled my hair and um, is now steaming my hair for extra, extra moisture, guys. Especially because my cream has been in for four weeks, my hair needs to, to gain the moisture. Honestly, I love this thing. It really does help. She then does plait my hair back. These are not supposed to be neat. These are just under my wig cream rose. They're not supposed to put tension on your scalp, but just to keep your hair neat. Hey guys, so that is the end of my wash day. It's literally the next day. I was gonna film the outro at the end, but I was so tired. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and the voiceover. Honestly, guys, um, doing my natural hair brings me so much love and like, it was such an amazing appointment. I'm so sorry it was all voiceover just because um, privacy and just wanna make sure that, you know, we have a good time. Um, just so you know, uh, my appointment probably took about three hours. I got there at 3.30, finished around 6.30. Um, for me personally, I think that's really, really quick. Like when I do my natural hair, it's like a whole day process, under the dry, all this. So to do it in three hours, in and out, I'm like, I'm happy, especially because you're doing a deep treatment. Um, I really think that's super, super quick. And also I've like, got stuff done in the morning. Um, you can also do late night appointments as well. So you can cook, go after work. Um, so yeah, she's actually amazing. Um, just so you know, I'm gonna put up the treatments I got up, the treatments, what I got done. So I did um, a pre-poo, um, I did a cleansing treatment, I did a deep moisture, <laughs> deep moisture treatment, and um, then she did the steam treatment as you saw, and then she did my all back plaits. Um, so, with me, I have like a hair care plan and like a hair, like I plan out my hair. I think most black women, a lot of us do. We know like in March, I'm probably, in March, I'm probably going to do braids. As, and then, but for the time being, I'm just going to wear my all backs and put my wig on. I'm definitely going to try and not glue down my wigs as much so I do like glueless. Um, just because I want my edges to be looking cute. But yeah, guys, honestly, I also bought, she also sells amazing products she has this doo doo um black soap that she actually hand makes which is amazing i'm not going to use this on my hair because i go to her to wash my hair so what my what i do is that i just let her wash my hair i don't wash my hair in between the four weeks uh, i just keep it back um and yeah she washes but what i'm gonna use this because she says that you could use it on your body and your skin and i'm trying to be on my my skin to be look cute and all that good stuff so i'm gonna try this out on my skin and let you guys know um let me see if i can take it out one second like guys but yeah she hand makes these these are actually amazing look guys can you see 
yeah so you can use your face your body and your hair but i'm gonna use it on my face um so you know i'll be glowing for the summer and then she also sells lala oil guys if anybody that goes to her knows that this is like cracking a bottle <laughs> this my hair like loves this every time i have my appointment i buy a new one um i would say it lasts longer than a month so it's just me i like to double up um but yeah this used to oil my hair um we call it lala oil um it has so much herbs in it it's got like a shelf life of one year so it's good girl it's good and then this is called bloody tea all right so um so what i so also so in between my appointments so i also make sure i moisturize my hair every day so what i do is that i'll spray this because you know that your what your hair really needs is moisture right so i'm learning all this good stuff but um water is how you moisturize your hair right so sometimes i have a spray bottle let me actually get my spray bottle one second guys <laughs> perfect okay sorry i should have been more prepared but yeah so what i normally do every day to moisturize my hair while it's in my cane rows so i use bloody tea amazing it's just to give it some water it's got i think it's got tea tree oil let me just double check uh, i'm not sure what's in here but all i know it's really, really good from it's got so many herbs in there i will definitely get if i get more information i'll let you know um but it's her product so yes and so i use her bloody tea and then i will go in with my leave-in conditioner and um, i have as i am leave-in conditioner this is really really nourishing um yeah because it has all the good stuff and then lastly i use the oil to seal in all the moisture so it's kind of like the um lco method if you if you're like a natural hair person like some research that's me like i like to do my research i'm like online looking at everyone that has natural hair and says what do they use what do they use what do they use but then also make sure that you find something that's good for you and that works for you like i said last year was a lot for my hair i feel like i really neglected it and um, i was just looking to for a fresh start and you know just to have a place where my my hair could actually nourish so when i found the natural hair whisperer i thought it was like a godsend but um yeah so i think it's the lco method so liquid then conditioner and then the oil and um, i do this every day um so yeah every day i make sure i moisturize my hair some days i might just use this um on a lazy day but because this doesn't take long just be like psh, 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 psh. um that's easy you know what i mean especially as black women i want something simple easy and making sure my hair is healthy and um, like i said i I've got, <laughs> I've got, this is, this is the one I bought last time. So like I said, I've used this much in a, in a month. So like I said, it lasts longer than a month. So let me just put some more in on my scalp. Um, but yeah, so that is what I do every day. My hair plan, like I said, I want to have my hair out more for summer. So I'll probably I'll do like some styles if you want with my style my afro or style my hair let me know if you like those type of videos i love watching those videos but i thought like i said i'm gonna be more transparent on this page and like do some more fun stuff but yeah that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions sorry i'm so excited to try this this i'm so excited because last appointment she was like oh i use this on my skin i was like okay cool and then i'm like okay let me try it this month so i'll try it for the month and let you know how it and reacts to my skin like i said the only thing is all try it if it doesn't work for me it might work for you um but i always say i'm happy because it's just so simple like three products every day for the month and i'm good to go got my wigs like i said um it is winter so i feel like wigs is okay for for now um during summer i will let my hair out and try and try to become better with my hair you know um but yeah hopefully march i get braids so but yeah she did came on my hair like i said these are just for under wig camo so it's not like expect tight tight camos because also i don't want tightness on my hair anyway because my that's not a purpose of the appointment the purpose is to have healthy hair and you know grow your hair and um, also i'll actually show you before and after pictures so i just like i said in the beginning i showed you what my hair looked like the first time i went and then this is how it looks now 
guys look look at side by side i don't know if i can do that but um before and after it's actually crazy like that's literally only one month of growth like i said at my crown i had a lot of um breakage and i think like i said i think also from the ponytail and also from neglect and also knowing how my hair is like with my type of hair it mats quite easily so like if i have my hair out i can't really have it out for two days because it likes to mat into itself so like the curls will go like this like compared to some people when they have looser cut, cut texture it won't um curl as much so i've got to be very very mindful that if i'm wearing my hair out i've got to make sure that i, I plait it before i go to bed or i'll come out with a lot more breakage um but i think from last month not last month last year i was very much neglecting my hair so then i had um well i still do but like i say it's grown now thanks to um natural hair whisperer and i can't wait to show you guys more results and how it's going honestly i think as black women as women in general we should invest in our natural hair as much as we invest in other hairs that we put on our head i love wigs don't get me wrong i love a wig but I also love my hair, so I'm so grateful. Literally, I can't wait for you. I just can't wait for it to grow and be healthy. I do think I need a trim soon, um, because I, have you guys been seeing these silk presses? I do want to get a silk press. I might get a silk press before or after my braids, because I do want it just to cut. Because I'm scared that um, I have like split ends. I feel like you only can really see your split ends when it's in a straightened state. So I love to get it straight and then just cut off. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know in the UK, who in the UK does good silk presses. So leave in the comments if you know anyone that does good silk presses. I would love to probably try that out. Maybe after my braids. I do, like I said, I do want to be on a healthy hair journey. And I, I don't, I don't like heat. I don't really put heat on my hair, but I don't feel like heat is that bad if you do it in a if you have a, if there's a method to the madness basically because if i'm going there to straighten it and to cut off the split ends um i keep it for a week and a bit and then wash you know what i mean i'm not i'm not going to do it like every day you know what i'm trying to say so but i think it'd be nice and i do love the little silk press and i always want to know where my hair would be um if i but with afro hair shrinkage is real guys it's actually so crazy i'll be seeing people like it comes like this and then it'd be like this i'm not we are magical people. That's what I say. Black women are magical people. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, next month, I might do an update. Um, maybe length check. Maybe we can start doing those type of things if you like it. But, yeah. Put your put your comments down below. How you... Uh, if you enjoyed the video. What you enjoyed the most. And what you want to see next. Um, I've got more exciting videos for you. Like I said, I do apologise for the camera quality. Um, I'm going to be getting upgrade soon but i don't want to procrastinate and not do any videos so hopefully this is good for the time being but honestly thank you guys so much um i'm gonna finish moisturizing my hair because i realized i moisturized it today um but yeah that's pretty much it guys let me know how you guys are doing okay actually let me oh, gosh guys this is why i can't multitask but yeah so once i spray it I put my conditioner in. Also, I always try to focus on the ends as well. Because I, what I realised, it's not really about... Um, your hair always grows. It's all about length retention. Like, I want length retention. Because if you're, if my hair's always breaking off, you know, there's no point in this growing. It's always going to stay at a certain, certain spot. So, I'm really focused on length retention. So, I've always got to make sure the ends are moisturised. I know we love to oil the scalp. But what about the ends, girl? <laughs> so I make sure the ends are looking cute and all that good stuff and also with her, with um natural hair whisperer she does also recommend products as well so if you feel like you don't know a lot or you want she also does just hair consultations that's what i meant to say so before your appointment you can actually have a hair consultation you can show her your hair at what state it is like i was very nervous at the beginning because i was like oh my god she's gonna think my hair is so bad but she was such she's such a beautiful lady um so honestly don't be scared if you have any suffer with alopecia or anything like that you can have a hair consultation via zoom and just talk about it and talk about what you what your goals as well and see if she can help aid that um but yeah I feel like I'm rambling a bit too much. And this is like the third time I'm saying goodbye. But um, yeah, bye guys. And I hope you have a beautiful day whenever you're seeing this. 
know that you are amazing and see you in the next one bye guys